Hey, this is Jay again, and tonight I'd like to show you how to use the search function that's built into Fruitbox. I don't think most people even know this is here. Um, I've never seen anybody demonstrate this before, so I wanted to show this to you. And um, probably the, the big reason you don't see this very often is you do have to have a keyboard to use this. Um, I don't think most people are going to have a keyboard sitting on their jukebox, but um, I do want to show you that this function is here. So uh, you're going to have your fruit box open, and in order to get the search box, you're going to hit the uh, forward slash key, and it's going to bring this up. And you can use your arrow keys to move up and down here. Uh, for this test, I'm going to select genre and hit enter key. And I am going to choose grunge. And I think that's all I'm going to choose for now. Go ahead and hit escape and it'll search for anything that is tagged with the grunge genre in your um, ID3 tags. So these are all the all the um, songs that I have tagged as grunge. I know not all these are grunge, but... Anyhow, if I wanted to drill down even further, I could hit the tab, or I'm sorry, not tab, but the forward slash key again. I could choose an artist. And I'm going to choose... I'm just going to say... oh. Let's just do Alice in Chains. I'm just going to type Alice. Hit enter, then escape. Now it's going to search for any name that has Alice in it in the grunge genre. And there you go. I can move left and right on my keyboard here to show you that's all it's... All it has found is Alice in Chains. If I had chose, um, let's go back. Let's go back in here. I can do a research, reset search fields. Click yes, and that clears all these out. I can do artist again, and let's choose Alice again. But this time, for genre, I'm going to choose rock. Let's see what happens. And it might find Alice in Chains, but it'll probably find Alice Cooper, I'm guessing, if I have my tags done right. Yep, there it is, Alice Cooper. Um, I could have just done just the Alice, and it would have found all Alice Cooper. Actually, let's let's do that. Let's reset this. Yes, reset. And let's just do song artist. Let's do Alice again. Now it'll find Alice in Chains and Alice Cooper and anything else that has Alice in the name. As the artist. So there's Alice Cooper, and there's Alice in Chains. Okay. Um, you can see also that you can choose just the song title if you if you know what it is and you just want to find that song title. Or the album. You can find all songs on an album. Or the year, or the album artist. And that's about it for this. Um, I do want to show you one other thing, though. And... I shouldn't have exited out of there. Sorry about that. Let me get back in here. Okay, so if I hit tab and I go controls, I'm going to turn this mouse on. And if you watch my other video, you know that um, turning mouse on will emulate a touch screen. I don't have a touch screen to test, so I'm going to use mouse. And then when you get to this part, it's going to say you have to restart for changes to take effect. Click OK. I'm going to escape out, go back in. Now the mouse should be working. 
Okay, so now before, I was actually typing on a keyboard. I'm gonna go back in here, forward slash on the keyboard. Oh, and by the way, if you're a skin designer, I believe that you can actually um, design uh, a search, you can, a touchable search button. So you can touch the search button and it'll bring the search box up. I believe you can, I, I haven't done it, but um, anyhow, once we're in here, we have to emulate touch with the mouse. So I have to use these arrow buttons. Now this time when I select the genre and I click select, it's gonna bring up an on-screen keyboard. So you can use, use this with a touch screen. Okay, now it's brought up my grunge genre again. And you can search to your heart's content. And there you have it. I just searched for all my funk. Anything that I had labeled as funk in my um, ID3 tags that are embedded in my MP3s that Fruitbox is reading from the database. Pretty easy to do, but you got to know that it's there and you're going to have to have a keyboard or a touchscreen to do it. So. I hope this helped, and until the next time, this is Jay signing out.